What's up, world? Welcome to the Museum TV. I'm your host, Guru Sanal. You know how we like to get things started here. Gotta thank you guys, as always, for keeping up with us, providing us with all that love and support. Please continue to do so by following us on all our social media, at the Museum TV. Give us a subscription on our YouTube channel. Give us a thumbs up, thumbs down. Let us know how you feel. Also, check out tmtv.world, where you can find a multitude of things, such as our directory, our past interviews, recent interviews, and even our merchandise, a whole bunch of dope content you don't want to miss out on. Us ladies are playing no games these days. We've learned how to hustle and take on entrepreneurship unapologetically, making us the fastest growing group of business women. That being said, we needed to introduce you we needed to introduce you guys to the ladies of the 523 shop in Rosendale, Massachusetts. What's up guys? Hey, how hello, are you hello. ladies today? Good. Good, how you doing? Good, thank you for coming by. Thanks for having us. So tell us, um, you guys are at 29 Poplar Street in Rosendale, Massachusetts. Tell us about the store. Could you even tell us about what 523 means and like how the business kind of even came about? Let's take this one. <laughs> All right. Um, so 523 came about um, when we started, obviously, the boutique. We were coming up with different names. Um, I remember you know, being in her living room for hours, just sitting there, literally right. writing down names of names of names. And like, she's very picky. So okay. um, nothing was clicking with us. Mm -hmm. Like we were just pretty much stuck. Like we wanted something unique, but something that identified who we were. Mm -hmm. um, so randomly, one of our friends, we were texting at the time, we were telling them like, you know, we're sitting here trying to think of names, any ideas. Um, and they literally were like, you know, think of something that um, signifies you two, like your friendship. Okay. Um, and immediately we were like basketball. Like, you know, we met at the age of 13, um, playing basketball at Washington Park. So we were like basketball. Um, and then immediately 523 came after. I was number five, she was number 23. Um, and for most of our childhood, we would literally write on our sneakers, five, five two, three. two plus three equals five. Aww. And little, like little best <laughs> friend stuff like that. So it just, it was something that literally just clicked with us um and you know we played with 523 boston mm -hmm. um but you know we thought bigger you know we thought you know we see ourselves going bigger than boston um so, so boutique so. came and that's kind of how we thought of the name so how long has the, the shop been open for at this point um so at this point june third will make a year so 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 you guys have a little celebration coming up i bet yeah. where so you guys been inserting yourself into the culture which we at the museum tv appreciate um tell the people about the events that you guys been putting together to help um clothing lines kind of brand themselves and um you know get their reach at your store and other things you've been doing to kind of engage with the culture as well uh so we like to do pop-up shops and just kind of give local designers a platform to come in and like take all of the inventory out and they take over the store and just kind of give them a platform to be in a storefront for the day. And then we use that opportunity to kind of scout new designers and see like what new talents out there, what new brands are out there and which, which clothing lines will fit within the store and hopefully we can keep the relationship going from so, there. So if you guys have like a lot of people kind of inquiring yeah. On, on, the, on the regular? <laughs> yeah, when we when we started, we definitely, you know, had the first three months, I would say, and this is something we just started um, mm -hmm. this year. Um, so, you know, the first couple of months, we were getting a lot of inquiries. It's kind of slowing down, but it just makes us kind of work a little harder um, on the search um, for looking for designers. But, you know, we think that it's a great event and it's something that the community needs. So we're going to continue to try to push it. And is, is it mainly only um, Boston clothing brands that you're looking after, or could it be from different states? So that was that was um, another thing. We actually are looking for designers from other states, correct, okay. to participate in this because we, our platform for the store is not just for Boston designers. It's designers. Um, so a lot of independent, really, too, like brands who may be independent and haven't gotten the love from the mainstream mm -hmm. stores that they deserve or that their clothes weren't. We want to focus towards them as well. Okay. So just curious if um, there's a clothing brand out there that, you know, has a lot of potent product that they um, are trying to kind of like find a platform for themselves as well. How can they go about reaching out to you guys if that is something that you guys are open to? Definitely shooting us an email. We get a lot of DMs on Instagram okay. or uh, tags and stuff, but shoot us an email. Those are hard to miss. You guys send an email. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> But it keeps it in a central place and we can kind of give them the process. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we get inquiries all the time and 
we want to make sure everybody gets a fair shot. So it forced us into really getting a system and letting us be able to connect with these designers and kind of let them know what we expect from them and they can let us know what they're expecting as well. Could you kind of like um, give us like a little criteria of like just, just small logistics, like what they would need to like have on point in order for them to kind of feel like they, they can reach they, out yeah. to you guys? So, I mean, we look at we look at how long they actually been a brand mm -hmm. so longevity is important um, we look at size run um, i know that was something in the beginning that we weren't really particular on mm -hmm. and we had to once again adjust um, so we're big on you know just making sure you come in and you have size you know small through xl instead yep. of a small and a medium or two pieces um, and then just how many pieces you actually have because yes. um, a lot of times you know it's easy to come in and like Sharnae said to to be a brand and I guess, not get the love, but if you only have one t-shirt, it's kind of hard right. for us to put you in our store when we know that we're looking for someone for the whole year or, you know, to kind of continue with us. Yeah. So if you only have one shirt out, one it's kind of tough for us to, you know, sit and take you in. So take a lot in. of times that's a lot of what we get from the emails is people that, you know, just kind of created brands and, you know, we want to push you, but at the same time, it's kind of hard for us because then once your t-shirt sells out, what do, what do we do, you know, so. So no one size fits all. Yeah, <laughs> not, even, not even, not even if you only sell, maybe you only sell, you know, for small or Excel, but mm -hmm. it's like, know your brand, like yeah. have an identity. Don't just say, oh, I'm a clothing line because I got a bunch of t-shirts. Like, that's really it. We Thanks. want people who take their brand serious, who know what their brand, mm -hmm. brand means. Like, who who is your client? Who's your customer? Because maybe I can tell you your customer isn't going to come to yeah. our store. Mm -hmm. It's all about so, the target. Yeah, the target. just more serious entrepreneurs and serious designers okay. who have an understanding of what their brand means and what they want from it. Right. That's really more so. Have you guys had much luck with it yet? Yeah, yeah I think we're That's moving dope. in the right direction. That's we're moving yeah, in I was right checking way. out your page, like I said earlier, and you guys have a lot of dope stuff. A lot of uh, comfy looking clothes, which yeah. I'm a big fan of. <laughs> So, Definitely. you know, there's like, what, maybe like eight months left in 2018. What do you guys have planned going forward? Um, so we have a lot of new stuff coming in store. Mm -hmm. um, like Sharnae said, we actually are planning a lot of stuff for the month of June. Um, we were going to do, you know, just a weekend kind of celebration for our one year, but we decided to spread it out. So we're going to have a lot of events going on okay. through the month of June. Um, the pop-up shops will continue to take place at each and every month. Um, and we're also looking for more designers um, every yes. day, just designers and, like she said, people who are... So just continuing to build and mm -hmm. get, getting ready for the next year. Definitely. So, so no, um, uh, do you guys have any... Oh, did you want to say something? I did. Uh, <laughs> as far as 2018, we do want to grow like our uh, online site. Okay. So um, we do come across a lot of designers who we love and maybe we can't always have them in the store. So we're looking to really expand, especially the out-of-state designers. Yeah, I was about to say that. Um, and give give our clients more custom or customers more access to those designers yeah. online if they yeah. can't get them in store. That's dope. No, that's 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 thoughtful <laughs> at that too because you know not everyone's able to like be as mobile as they'd like. So um, do you guys have any shout outs that you want to give to to us before we wrap <laughs> this up? And like, where where can people find you guys aside yes. from um, Twenty Nine Poplar Street? Um, you can find us online, shop V2 I I I. That's three I's, not two. Um, and that's pretty much Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. Um, you also can find us on our online store at shop V2 I I I Boutique. No. Close. Close. But no cigar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> nah, she's right. V2 I I I Dot com. Um, and yeah. That's pretty much, and we're pretty much, uh, we do a lot in the community, both of us, so you can find us, yeah. We pretty much do a lot of community events. Um, Where at? Um, so we do pop-up shops. Um, I'm involved in, outside of the store, I actually mentor kids in the community, okay. so I do a lot of, like, kids' events. Um, Shanae's a realtor, um, so she's just always in the community mm -hmm. looking at something. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so... So yeah, we pretty much are really involved, um, you know, and try to be involved in the community. Yeah, we're sponsoring a few basketball camps this upcoming summer. Okay. It's really important seeing us kind of where we got our start okay. from. Yeah. So yeah, just so trying more, to be active. More sports-based stuff? Yeah, getting okay. involved more with like camps and clinics and stuff like so, that. So, so. Yeah, and it traces back to where you guys all, like, both originated and how you guys kind of mm -hmm. came up with the idea. Absolutely. Of probably inspiring the next person coming up. Mm -hmm. That's dope. Um, other thing, 
artists. I don't know which one. <laughs> we are looking for more artists, like actual uh, visual artists. Mm -hmm. um, we do sell paintings okay. in our store. All of our paintings are from local artists in Boston, surrounding areas. And we're looking to uh, to get some more pieces in so, and to network with some more artists as well. I could link it with a lot of people. There's that would be super of, dope. Artists super dope. Rosendale is really big uh, in the art, art culture. So. Okay. That's all. That's dope. So you guys heard it here first on the Museum TV. Make sure you guys are showing the ladies of 523 Love. Follow them on all their social media. Check out their website. And also, if you're a visual artist or designer, reach out to them. They're at 29 Poplar Street in Rosendale, Massachusetts. Once again, I'm your host, Guru Sanal. Make sure you guys continue to show us all that love and support. Give us a thumbs up, thumbs down. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you guys think. Subscribe to us. Follow us on all our social media at the Museum TV. Check out tmtv.world. Until next time, we are Boston's premier vlog, the Museum TV. Hey, it's Noble, creator of the Museum TV, and I just wanted to thank you for tuning in to Boston's Premier Vlog. If you liked this video, please leave us a like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. I'll leave a few other videos around here for you, just so you can see how we're exhibiting the culture stories.